Look. Listen to the AZ Wildcats podcast is presented by the Arizona Lottery. Uh, don't forget to get out and get your holiday scratchers today. Joined by Jason Shear. I am Mike Luke. Hello, Shear. How you doing, dude? What's going on, Mike? Long time no talk. All right. Sorry, guys. We're a little bit late. That was on both of us right here. But first, Shear, Arizona is in the Alamo Bowl. Um, you talk about a uh, a best case scenario. To put it mildly, this is a best case scenario, and we get to play Oklahoma. We're going to break down all of that. But first, what do you think about Arizona playing in the Alamo Bowl, Jason Shear? I'm pumped. I mean, it's a, it's a big bowl. You know, it, it really is. I, I hope Arizona fans realize it's it's the biggest bowl outside of the the New Year's Eve Six Bowl and all that. It is a a big opportunity for Arizona. San Antonio is a a nice place for bowl to do a really nice job over there. And it's a marquee opponent. Yes. And all right, let's talk about the marquee opponent. This is an interesting matchup for me for Arizona for a variety of reasons. Oklahoma is very good. Obviously they've got good players. Uh, Dylan Gabriel is not going to play, but this should not be any excuse for Oklahoma because this was an Oklahoma decision to move on to their five-star uh, freshman quarterback. who we be playing next year? Yeah. I mean, look like Dylan Gabriel is really good. Obviously, but it's not like the backup is is chop liver. I, right. I mean, right. I mean, Jackson Arnold. If you ask that program, and I'm sure we'll we'll start hearing it as, as soon as today. Um, Jackson Arnold is the future of that program. I mean, he was literally ranked the the tenth best player in the entire nation. The, the number good? one, the number one player in Texas. I mean, he is awesome. And, and right. so, and, and I hope Arizona fans know that too. Like, as good as G Gabriel was, like. Arnold's good. This is also a team that uh, you you look at their uh, wide receivers. It's an interesting uh, lineup because you can kind of see where they're going with. They're going to start a little bit of a youth movement, obviously. Uh, the player on the outside that is going to be very fascinating for, I think, Arizona fans to watch is Nick Anderson. Uh, he's a freshman, probably a missy Val by the recruiting services, being that he was a low four star. Uh, Sheer, I do not blame you because I highly doubt you ever saw Nick Anderson in high school. Is this correct? Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. You dropped the ball. You dropped the ball there, being that he I wasn't bad. in Arizona. I got yeah. three star Texas receivers just weren't yeah. in my uh, my bad. But but he's a monster though. As a freshman, uh, caught for twenty yards per um, double digit touchdowns. He's what a future NFL first rounder looks like. That's why Arizona has big defensive backs, Jed Fish. Yeah, I mean he's he's legit. Their offense is weird because I would say there's no superstar. It, Nick's probably the closest thing, but. Then you have Drake Stoops, who really isn't that far off. Um, right. Their running game is very split up, even though one of their their running backs is in the portal. Um, and look, Dylan Gabriel said today, like he hasn't decided if he's playing in the bowl game yet. I, How do you enter the portal and not and decide? Well, you know what, I might play anyways. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe that a team that he's looking to transfer to is going to let him play in that game. I, I mean, there's just no way. Why would you? I mean, there's absolutely no reason for it. And again, Arizona fans, we will make no apologies because I would imagine Arizona is going to be missing a player, a very important player as well in this game. Don't know that for a fact, but I will say that I think Arizona is probably going to be missing a player as well. And I don't blame this player at all. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, and then and it might not only be one. I, I will say, I, I think it, it is funny if you go to like the sure, are you bowl. sitting on information that I don't know? It might not only be one. Who would the well, other no, one Ed, be? Ed said it might not only be one. I mean, maybe there's injuries and, but um, right, it, it was, right. it was funny because like you go to the Oklahoma message board and they're just so upset. They're in the Alamo bowl, little Arizona, all that. And then you go to the Arizona board and it's like, Oh yeah, we're in the freaking Alamo bowl and we're going to kill Oklahoma. All right, I'm going to put it right here. Sheer, so far so good this year. I've been I've been spot on on two of my predictions. I said on I put on your board on Wildcat Authority that Arizona would, was going to beat Oregon State and we're going to beat Washington State. I'm laying down the gauntlet right now. We are beating Oklahoma. And here's what's interesting about this. And I know what I'm about to say here. Arizona's got better players than Oklahoma. I know that feels weird to say. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sheer. Arizona's got better – Arizona has a better roster than Oklahoma. I think it's close. I know why you're saying that. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, why not? Who cares? Uh, I do think Arizona's <laughs> going to beat Oklahoma. Right. Okay. Now, here's where Oklahoma, I think, is going to have a lot of problems again, and again, uh, against the A. And we will uh, – we're going to break all of this down. We're just giving you a cursory – Oklahoma cannot rush, rush the passer. 
that is a little bit of an issue against uh, if you uh, cannot rush the passer against uh, Arizona, that can lead to a few problems. Yeah, and it's interesting. It, and this shows you how good Noah Fafita is. Teams that have blitzed Arizona have gotten killed. I mean, he is statistically one of the best quarterbacks in the country against the blitz. And so now if you're Oklahoma, do you blitz guys that maybe aren't really good at blitzing? Or do you try to mix up the coverages? And, um, you know, Oklahoma is considered, remember, their their head coach is a defensive coordinator. So right. I'm sure that with three weeks, they're going to try to come up with some stuff. But, yeah, Oklahoma's defense, I've, I've watched them. Uh, it has not impressed me this year at all. I mean, you can ask Kansas or Oklahoma State about those uh, about their uh, defense there, Jason Shear. I mean, even TCU. I mean, they lost, but didn't they drop like 50 points? Yeah, I mean, so again, there's uh, there's a lot to like here. You know what? There's also a lot to like, Sheer. Arizona Lottery. Sheer, have you ever won the Arizona Lottery? Uh, not the millions part, but I, I've won a little bit. It's fun, is it not? It is. I like the lottery. Okay, Arizona Lottery. Check it out right now. Go out and buy your holiday scratchers. Scratchers start at just $1 and top prizes up to $500,000. Be like Jason Shear. Make a lot of money. Um, by the way, oh, Bruce Pascoe finally returning our text message. I saw I saw a message or a car today that said Mr. Pascoe on it. And I, Bruce, just, I saw that. I slept in a little bit, but I saw that. It was very impressive. I'm that's catching the, up on, on yeah. everything. Yeah. That's the Italian uh, spelling. All right. So Mr. Pasco, Bruce drives a Kia Optima. I got very excited at first when I saw that. Oh. I pulled it up, though, and it was not Bruce Pasco. But we, we will say it is. Also, Wink. Do you think Bruce Pasco has ever drinking Wink in his life? I'm going to ask him right now. Say, Bruce, have you ever had Wink? Yes. All right. But here it is. Sure. It's a drink with a Wink of THC. Hey, oh. oh, very, very funny. Very, very funny. I like it. It makes me laugh. Um, okay. Right now you can buy these inside the cannabis uh, Tempe dispensary, all Sunday goods locations, and um Tucson at Green Med Dispensary. Uh now through New uh New Year's, we are running daily specials to count down to 2024 together in all dispensaries, uh locations that carry our product. Of course, Bruce starts messaging us as we're on air. Bruce, buzz off right now. Um uh you want to make fun of ASU a little bit real quick? Yeah, let's make fun of ASU. What do you got? BJ Green just entered the transfer portal. Dude, they're going to be their, their best defensive player. I was going to say that's their best defense. Ooh. They, <laughs> it's going to it's going to be a tough time for it. I need them to lose Elijah Badger as well. Is it can we make this happen? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Well, we're, well, anybody out there that oh, yes, we want to get rid of Elijah Badger as well. Um, all right, let's get back to Arizona, a real team. Uh, first of all, I'm also excited to see though Arizona on the field against a team that routinely recruits at a top 10 level. Um, the first time that I really thought that maybe there was something unique about Arizona this year was against SC. And yes, I get SC sucks, but um SC didn't look like they had more talent than Arizona, just raw, natural talent. That was what was wild about it. I'm curious to see if the same thing holds true against Oklahoma, Jason Shear. Yeah, that's the biggest test, and, and no disrespect to my, my Oklahoma State brethren, my people, you know, where I know we're conference mates and all that. There is a little disappointment with the possibility of it being Oklahoma State because I think Arizona would have been favored by double digits. Right. And Arizona is going to face Oklahoma State in the future. Oklahoma – is a team that is consistently one of the best in the country. Right. Like, you, you, you're you just going to assume that they're right there in, in the top 10. And I think that if we're going to judge how far Arizona football has come, Oklahoma's the perfect opponent. I don't want to face Alabama yet. I know Arizona fans are feeling themselves. I'm good with facing. And, right. and Oklahoma saying, you know what? Like, how good is Arizona? And let me tell you something. If Arizona beats Oklahoma, they're probably going to finish the season in the top 10. Oh, and we talked about this before, Sheer. I believe Arizona is a preseason top 10 team next year. You vehemently disagreed. Uh, no. Oh. I, I, all, all I'm saying is it is so impossible these days to know anything about college football next season on December 4th. Like, look at the dudes entering the portal, and it's only 1045. By the way, uh, Brad Rich, this is slander of the highest degree. It is Sheer that did not like Scattyboo. I like Scattyboo. I would add Cameron Scattyboo to the U of A. Sheer was the one that didn't like him. Sheer, own up to this one. Yeah, I'm not a big Scattyboo guy. He, does not, oh. he doesn't do a lot for me. Right. That's I it. like Shadab or Scattyboo. Shadaboo. Um, 
Sc- wow. Shadaboo? No, hey, wait a second. Man, Brad Rich, you're coming at me with all kinds of uh, vile arrows. I like Conyers as well. Another guy. Might- yeah, I can do without Conyers. No, again, you I don't, don't like Conyers. We I know, like I agree. Conyers. I agree. Yeah. But again, yeah. I don't it's not like I don't like him personally. I'm just saying that I would rather I would rather roll with Key and Burnett, Arizona's tight ends, and get somebody from the portal. Um, I don't really uh uh yeah. But Scadaboo though, Brad Rich, apologize right now because that was a slander of the highest degree. That was a chief level slander right there. We will wow. not we will not stand for that. Um, Brad Rich, nice try. Um, all right, now. Um, what else? By the way, Sheer, isn't it awesome though? Sheer now has access to all of these comments, people. Sheer did not know that you could have access to these comments until what, like two weeks ago? Yeah. All right. There we go. Um, Arizona or Oklahoma is five in total offense in the country. Arizona is 18. Oklahoma is very good. I'm just saying that I am not at all intimidated by Oklahoma. My bad, Mike Luke. I do appreciate that. Um, What's all, but what's weird to me about Oklahoma, 19 sacks on the season, Arizona, for uh, example, had 31 sacks and it's not like you could say, oh, well, you know, you're going against all these great offensive lines in the big 12. That's why I'm just saying sheer. Let me ask you this year. What, what position units for Oklahoma are clearly better than Arizona's maybe linebacker probably give you linebacker. I think linebacker depth was one. I think they probably have the best corner on the field. I don't know. If the other corners, how good they are, but I, I, I mean, if you have a cornerback that has three pick sixes, it's good. And six, it's good. Um, but other than that, O line might be comparable, right? Um, All, I, I, I think the big point is that the fact that we can even have a conversation about who has more overall talent between Arizona and yeah. Oklahoma football is wild. Uh, yes, it is also, I get that. I've been asked this question about eight times in the past week, any relation to Caden Luke from CDL? Yes. Actually, no, there is Bro. not. We call him fam. Anybody with Bro. the last name Luke fam is fam. Sheer, what do you Your say? Brothers. Your brothers. Yes. Um, but he's much, he's actually a huge dude. He's a monster. I actually hope Arizona. I don't know if, I, if Arizona's got, this will sound really bad. I don't mean it this way, but if Arizona's got like a leftover scholarship or a highly preferred walk-on, I would love to be able to bring him on board. Um, but I did stick up for them last year at the uh, when uh, they got banned for the season because they got caught with beer. <laughs> I went there and I did my Mother Teresa thing, and uh, you know, it's for the to use a uh, phrase, it's for the kids, Jason Shear. Uh, you're not related? No, we're not. I wish we would. I, I, think, I actually know for a fact that Arizona is looking at him for a walk-on spot, which I think is fair. Well, I mean, when the coaches start following him, I mean, you know, it probably yeah. makes sense. The um, yeah. how often do you uh, follow uh, follow coaches on how they uh, who who they're following? Sheer, I know you. How much time per day do you do this? Oh, I check three times a day. Not all so, the coaches. Though. So, do you go onto their Twitter account then and just see like the followers? Do you have a chart or what do you do? I don't exactly? do followers. Followers is too difficult. I know. Following, follow. I mean. Yeah. 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 Right. I okay. I just oh, look. Gilbert Arona, we will, uh, we will talk about the playoffs because I am a little upset about this. I have a, there's a B in my body. Mike thinks Nebraska got robbed. Nebraska, Nebraska got screwed, man. Nebraska should have been in that final four. And I don't think that there's any way around that. Um, all right. Really? Who are they playing in their bowl game? <laughs> um, oh, by the Who's way, our, yeah. so Arizona, let's get back to some real, let's get back to some real talk here. Cause as you know, we like to keep it very serious on this show at all times. Um, getting back though to Arizona, um, just being able to just being able to beat Oklahoma if you could. And I think it would also give a little bit of a nice little entry into the Big 12 because uh, the Big 12 is certainly done, or the Big 12 certainly probably has some hard feelings towards Oklahoma. We are big fans of our Big 12 uh, friends. We're going to do what we can to extinguish the beast. Uh, Multiple text tweets yesterday from Big 12 fans openly rooting for Arizona. Like they would love nothing more than for an incoming Big 12 team to be an outgoing Big 12 team. Like that is a... That is a very big deal for them. All right. Let's talk the portal for a few minutes here. We're going to get to Arizona basketball. We're going to get to the playoffs as well. Um, oh, by the way, uh, back to uh, uh, quarterback. Is your wife still mad at me? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'll ask her. 
All right. Shelby Shearer is very mad at me because she tweeted out asking yesterday. She said, should Jaden De- or if Jaden Delore had been the starter from day one, is Arizona in the top 10? And I said, I don't know. Ask your husband who didn't support putting him in. And she got very mad at me. She said, never ask for tickets again. I Shelby, uh, Shelby hates Jaden Delore. Well, a player as a right. player. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Well, you know, I'm just saying Shelby Shear, be nice to me next time. I felt very bad about it. I even apologized. Um, sure. All right. Um, but the portal, what do we need to know, Shear? Uh, I would say this. I know that Arizona fans are very excited uh, about the guys that are entering and all that. It is uh, 1052 on the first day the portal is open. It is going to get absolutely insane. Um, Arizona is going to be picky again. Like this is a different roster situation where you say, okay, we need a defensive end. And the thing is like today, uh, uh, what's his name? Walter Nolan entered, right? Oh, we would take Walter Nolan at the X number one player in the entire country, Walter Nolan. And then Arizona fans are eventually going to ask, what about Walter Nolan? I think Arizona has a very good NIL. I don't think it can land a guy like Walter Nolan, right? Like it's just. And, and so it's going to be. I would look more towards the guy like like Big Bill Norton. Who, oh, no, we don't want to lose. Or you're not saying we're going to no, lose no, no, Big no. Bill Norton. No. Oh. Guys like him who were like blue chip prospects playing on really good teams, like an Upshaw, who maybe just couldn't reach the field because yeah, they're playing for one of the top two teams in the country. Right. Okay. Now the. Uh... Uh, by the way, everybody out there, just so you know where I stood on the Jaden Delora thing, I said before the year, and Sheer can vouch for this, that I would have started Noah Fafita from day one. This is true, Sheer. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So everybody out there, I back uh, I back the Noah Fafita movement. Um, now, um, the portal, I think we're going to have a lot more for uh, the, uh, uh, interest in, in the portal or a lot more knowledge of who's what probably by about Tuesday or Wednesday, at least from an Arizona perspective, the players that Arizona is losing are great kids. I'm sure, but not important to the future of the program. Canyon Moses wasn't going to play. Uh, so yeah. All know. those, all those kids are officially in as of this morning, by the way. Yeah. I mean, those players, uh, I, those players were, we're not going to do Jason anything. Harris, Stevie rocker, Amon Allen and Canyon Moses are the only Arizona players in the portal. Uh, as of now, how many of those players start for a Kevin Sumlin team? All of them? Uh, maybe. I'm very. Here's the thing that that bothers me about the portal. Like, I'm trying to say this in a nice way. Just remember say it, when, just like, say it, dude. Remember Nobody's when, like, listening? Who cares? Remember when Drew Dixon entered the portal? Right. Uh, yes. And and he wound up at like Southeast Missouri Tech. Right. Like, yes. There's a lot of kids entering the portal that have literally just ended their college football career. Because nobody's taking them. Right. Like Amon Allen, if I'm him, I'm probably asking Don Brown if I can go to UMass. Right. Stevie Rocker, I don't know where he's going to go. He's never, I mean, I, I really don't. Like Kenyon Moses is young enough where he could probably find a spot. But it's like there's going to be some dudes entering the portal that are ending their college football career. Cruz rushing will be an interesting one to follow. I will. Uh, I am very intrigued by Cruz rushing. Maybe. What's that? I am too. That's my. That, and it's not like he's good either. It's just that I'm. I'm just curious. I'm. May, may, well, I, again, maybe he could go to a place where they develop better players. I hope he goes to ASU. Oh, say. that would be that would be fantastic. Maybe he ends up at maybe ends up at Oregon where they develop better players. Yeah, that'd be good too. No, I mean, certainly, I'm certainly uh, certainly would imagine he would see the field there. Um, okay, now, um, so again, we will have more names, more ideas, but you got to remember though, people, Arizona is Arizona is in a position of strength right now. They're not in a position of desperation. They can take. There are not a lot of glaring holes on this team. And we were talking about the defensive tackle position, Skier. If they get back Big Bill Norton, you've got back Big Bill Norton. You've got back Kengaika. You've got back uh, Tia Savea. You've also got obviously Uyagulele that can play in there as well. You're pretty well. You're pretty. You're pretty good at the D tackle position, for example. Yeah, yeah, they'll be fine. I, I mean, and, and, and again, uh, Bill Norton's the big one. Like if we, Bill comes back, it looks a lot better than if he doesn't come back. I like CEO a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll need to replace him, but for sure, Manoa, great guy, great family. Not that good of a player. You can't replace him. Does Savea come back? Ty Ty moved to end and became good. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't worry about it. I, I really don't, you know, and that's one of the good things about having depth is that you can kind of bump guys up and then reestablish what you need and then go to the portal and go get it. Can you ever get a NIL just for one player or donate and you say this is only for one player? I got to ask yeah. Dave that question. That's you a can. What do you mean? That happens all the time. All right. People out there, listen, Big Bill Norton, if you want to donate to keep somebody on the team, donate to keep the Big Bill Norton cause. Would you agree with this year? Yeah, absolutely. By the way, I, I, go ahead. Sorry. No, no you're oh, good. Well, go well, I should say, like, they, and then they have offered linemen already. Like, Arizona's right. offered a few guys. One of the guys they offered, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Chubba May, who was one of the best players in the big sky, but this is the guy you're looking for. I mean, he was first or second team conference all years, and he's 6'2", 350. Right. I and, mean, he's, and he's Polynesian. So I just, I don't know for a fact, but I assume he's coming. You know, uh, yes, I'm uh, I'm totally, I am totally good on that, uh, that one. But again, we're going to talk a lot more about Oklahoma throughout, obviously, because we've got about three weeks to break them down. And I'm sure I'm going to be very annoyed by Oklahoma fans at this point. All right, let's talk a little bit of college. Uh, let's talk a little bit. Oh, let's start a car wash to keep Big Bill Norton. Hey, Gilbert Arona, you've got to put in the Big Bill. We don't, listen, you get a one-time pass on. right here. But. You've got to put in Big Bill Norton. It's not just Bi Bill Norton. His name is officially going to be Big Bill Norton. Sure, you agree with this? Yes, and I will ask him too. Right, yes. Oh, don't worry, everybody. We're going to get to hoops. Um, uh, nah, I know you're wrong about this one. They would absolutely not take back rushing. They would take Will Height. They would absolutely. They would take Will Height. They would not take rushing. You are you, Cosmic Contrarian. You are 100% wrong on that one. They would 1,000%. Uh, um, not take back Elijah rushing under any circumstance. Yes. Um, that's, I can guarantee you on that one. Okay. Um, now, uh, all right. It's okay. Uh, Luke, we can't overlook Wisconsin. They have gotten better. Um, yes, I, I do. We well, listen, we're going to get into Wisconsin. All these Arizona fans wanted to talk basketball. Come on guys. <laughs> it's not like we're about, don't worry. We're going to spend about 20 minutes on it. Um, all right. What else are we getting to? Oh, college football playoffs. Um, I get what they did. I totally understand putting in Alabama. I get it. My only problem is this, is that Florida State was undefeated and they did play and beat some good teams. But my only question is this, would Alabama, if Alabama had lost their quarterback on the eve of the college football playoffs and beat a top 15 team 16 to 6, would Alabama have been left out of the college football playoffs? Of course not, because they would have said, look, the defense was so great against a solid Louisville team. Yeah, I mean, look, if if Jalen Mon Monroe, uh, Bill Rowe, Jalen, whatever his name is, had torn his ACL <laughs> against Georgia, and Alabama still wins that game by six points, right? there is zero doubt that they even discuss it, and Alabama is still in, right? That's where it bothers me. And and that's where it bothers me too. I look, do I think FSU is one of the four best teams in the country? Absolutely not. I think they would have got annihilated in the football playoff by but that's not the argument. And 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 they set it up. I knew as soon as the head of the committee or whatever said last week that it's not the four deserving, it's the four best, that they were setting it up to leave FSU out. Okay. By the way, uh Tyler Warden, the great Tyler Warden. Um uh, let's see here. Uh, the great Tyler Warden. Uh, hold on. I disagree with you on this. Ty, man, I got I to gotta run this whole thing. Ask yourself this. Who would Michigan rather play, FSU or Alabama? That's your answer. Well, I can go on this, too. I think that they would rather play uh, uh, Arizona, or, uh, Arizona than Florida State. So should Arizona be in over Florida State? Uh, yeah. And the funniest thing, did you see the video? Yes, that the was. Video? The video's great. Yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video. Look at the video, everybody, of Michigan's uh, dinner or whatever they're at when they announce that they're facing Alabama and there's audible moans. Mike, we have breaking news. What's that? Your official Arizona Wildcats. It is official. We, I'm going to say we, are the number one team in the country. All right. Is Bruce's poll? There are That's multiple other. Hold on. So I don't have Bruce's ballot yet, but I will say this it was not unanimous. Kansas got a vote and Houston got three. Right. Um, 
Wow. I'll, listen, is it bad that I'm at the point that all I care about is Bruce's poll? No, that's 100%. Yeah, I'm going to ask gonna, him we're gonna get We're going to get to that. In a, we're going to get to that one in a country. Or, or, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with it right now. Arizona has not been ranked number one in nearly 10 years, Sheer. Yeah. Um, this is a big deal. It just is. Now, listen, when I was growing up before Shear became an Arizona fan, generally Arizona was number one once every couple, three years. Going 10 years, though, uh, and getting back to the apex of college basketball is a big deal. And honestly, this is the best team in college basketball. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we've I've I've watched shoot, we've we've texted during most games with <clears throat> the top teams in the country. I, I actually disagree. I, your boy Jeff Goodman had said that there's no My boy Jeff Goodman? That your best friend Jeff Goodman had said that there's no dominant team. Arizona's that dominant team. Now, look, Arizona's going to lose. It's going to lose the game. Right. Right? The schedule's too difficult for it to not, not to lose the game. That doesn't mean anything to me. It, right. when, when I have watched college basketball this year, Arizona is the team that I say to myself, man, this is this is the number one team in the country. This is the number one team in the country, and they also have the least amount of flaws and weaknesses. Let's just talk about some of these top five teams. The first thing is, let's uh, let's talk about Kansas for a second. I think Kansas is awesome. Kansas has no bench whatsoever. Arizona brings in Mount Crevis, KJ Lewis, and Jaden Bradley. Those are that's Arizona's trump card right there, Sheer. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's just and to me the the difference is very simple. Arizona plays hard and goes for the kill. It didn't do that last year. And even Tommy brought it up against Colgate, where it's like we just kept building and building the lead, and before you knew it, it was 27. That wasn't the case in the past. And there's very few teams in the country that have the ability to do that. And the reason they could do it is they bring in K.J. Lewis, they bring in Crevis, they bring in, you know, Jaden Bradley, and the overall energy and quality doesn't drop. Uh, not at all. Uh, Andrew Blaho, the uh, the great Andrew Blaho. Uh, Andrew, I will get. We will. I uh, will talk about uh, that in just a second. Um, also, um, let's talk UConn now. UConn is UConn is very good. Don't get me wrong, but they're fifth also in the country, by the way, number five, fifth, fifth in the country. Okay, UConn also is not very athletic. Um, Arizona, that to me is kind of their, uh, and again, I know UConn is missing a, a lottery pick, but Arizona athletically is on a different level than UConn. UConn's got some plotters that they didn't have last year. UConn overwhelmed teams last year. UConn is not going to overwhelm Arizona. Arizona's got a better roster. And they're very good. Like, right. like he said, like UConn is a very good team. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, uh, they lack athleticism up front. Um, you know, they, they rely a lot on a guy like Tristan Newman, for instance. I'm not sure Arizona's built that way where it is relying so much on one player that if that one player doesn't perform well, Arizona can't win. Purdue. Obviously, Zach Eady is the best player in the country. We get that. Purdue, Big Ten. <laughs> I've said this from day one. I still think they're going to go out early. Now, I do think they'll get out of the first round, but... Um, Purdue to me is still just too limited. Let me, I ask people this all the time. How many players at Purdue outside of Zach Eady would be in the top, uh, eight rotation at Arizona? Ooh, I would say two, probably two, maybe three max. Yeah. They've got, uh, oh, I don't know why his name escapes me now. <clears throat> the guard. That's really good. That I actually like. He's good for sure. No doubt. Braden Smith. But I like Braden Smith quite a bit. I think right. he's legit. He's good, but you're you're That's looking at two players. players. All right, but Braden Smith, I think, would play for Arizona. Okay, you're looking at two players. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Arizona's got better players across the board outside of Zach Eady and Umar Ballo, leader of men. Umar Ballo is going to be very interesting watch against Purdue because uh, Sheer is guaranteed eat that he's alive. going to eat him alive. And by the way, you guys are asking about Billy Sims. He went to Sunnyside. Um, the uh, all good. right, yeah, no, I do you trust me? I know all this stuff. Um, what's the victory? What's the victory for Umar in that matchup? If if Zach Eady goes for fourteen and eight, oh, it's a huge victory for sure. I just need Umar, up, right? Yeah, I just need Umar to be able to make him work for everything he gets, and I think Umar is going to be good. I do worry about though. Um, in close games, I do worry about Umar. I think we're going to see teams continuously foul him. Absolutely. Uh, 
And the Tommy Gunn said that he's not worried about it, but I believe the Tommy Gunn is a little worried about it. Uh, yeah, he's worried about it. You have to be worried about it. You're trying to win basketball games. But um, I, I think part of it is Tommy's not going to go in front of the media and be like, yeah, man, if this dude doesn't hit his free throws, we're screwed. <laughs> like, it's just, that's not how it works. And, and we'll know later in the year. It's real simple. If Umar's on the court at the end of games, then Tommy still trusts him. And if he's not, then Tommy doesn't. That'll be it. All right. Now we can talk about Marquette. Marquette is better than I thought. Arizona is still better than Marquette. The point guard for Marquette is very good. And the big man from Desert Vista in Phoenix is good. He's long. But I also, uh, Arizona, that's another team where if you were to ask how many of those players in the top eight at Mar or in Marquette's rotation would play at Arizona, not many. Arizona's the best team in the country. They might, might not win it, but Arizona's the best team in the country, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I will take the big guy, and I, I will take your boy, uh, Tyler Kolek, who you said sucks. I did. Um, I, I would take – don't worry, I didn't think he was very good yeah. at first either. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, um, good. he's good. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, it, it's just one through five. You know, the only team I used to think that could compete one through, one through five to me is Kansas. Mm -hmm. Kansas what yeah Kansas one through five can't compete because you know, here's what's interesting about Kansas their starting lineup kind of mirrors Arizona's in that um uh KJ Adams and Keisha Johnson different but kind of the same player kind of the same impact uh McCuller is very good he's probably a little bit better Pella Larson Dewan Harris is obviously very good Caleb Love is better than El Marco Jackson and Hunter Dickinson an interesting one because Every time I think that Hunter Dickinson has turned the corner, then he has a Big Ten Hunter Dickinson moment against a uh, player. TLN, you're wrong about that. KJ Adams is one of the best defensive players in the country. Yeah, and McKellar is a freak. Yes. I mean, he's, he might be the best player in the nation. But Hunter Dickinson's problem is the same now as it was two years ago. Right. He can't guard athletes. He just right. can't do it. You right. get him in space and you pick on him, and, and that's how you attack Kansas. UConn did it a bit, and, and that's how every team is going to attack Kansas. Similar to how Michigan State tried to attack Arizona. You get a guy like Umar in space, but it's different. I, I think Umar is a better defender than uh, Dickinson. Dickinson has never done anything for me, ever. No, I, I agree. And I was really, really surprised against uh, Kentucky when he had the game that he did because I thought he would struggle in that game. That at least gave me a little bit of a uh, – a little yeah, bit no, of – Yeah, I know. But they're still long and athletic, even though they're, sh even though they're not tall. Um Let's see. Uh, K TLN, you're wrong about KJ Adams, but you know what? We can agree to disagree. Um, all right. And uh, Houston, uh, last year, Houston would have terrified me against Arizona. Any team that's going to try to pressure Arizona, I think it's going to get absolutely smoked. I think this is the last team in the country that you want to pressure. I don't worry about Houston. Yeah, it's different. Uh, we know why it's different, and that's that's guard play. If you want to press Kylan and Caleb Love and Jada Bradley, go for it. If you want to press Kirk Risa, <laughs> I totally right. get it. I would too, but it's just, it's a different animal now. Yep. Different animal entirely. All right. Now let's get some reads in here. Let's talk about this upcoming schedule for Arizona, but uh, sheer. All right. Let's get on. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do first? Oh, game time. Let's say that, let's say that you're asking, you're like, all right, well, um, I'd like to go to, uh, I'd like to go to the uh, uh, Alamo bowl, but I don't know how game time says we are here Give us your money. We will give you the best deal possible. Check it out. Game time, my friends. Um, download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code PHNX for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code PHNX for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Game Time and Shady Rays. Sure, are you wearing shade? Are you wearing Shady Rays yet? I need to. I absolutely yeah. need. To. You absolutely need to. Shady Rays, again, exclusively for our listeners, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Go to ShadyRays.com and use code PHNX for 50% off two-plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself. The shade's rated five stars by over 250,000 people. All right. Do we have Bruce's poll yet? We do not. I'm working on it. He didn't answer me. He I know. Yeah, he knows what we're up to. Uh, man, this is going to be – well, this could also be a tease for the next show then because we di uh, dissect Bruce's poll. Um, are any of the polls out or any of the individual polls out yet? Are the, oh, wow. Wow, does that sound bad. 
Okay, I'm, sorry. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. Does that sound bad? We do apologize. Um, oh, oh, hey, look at this. T-Birds. Wow. All right. Um, Bruce has us uh, one, Houston two, according to the AP site. Sure. How do you not have access to this? Uh, it's just, it says service unavailable on mine. What AP it? site? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. I are... use College Bull Tracker. I didn't know there was an AP site. Yeah, well, uh, T Burns, uh, put this link in there. Uh, you're obviously smarter than we are because we want uh, we want to look at we want to look at this. Uh, man, now I just feel we we want to dissect Bruce's. <laughs> but again, oh, I got uh, it, I got it, I got oh, it. All right, what do we got? What do we got? All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Ari is... Yeah, Arizona one, Houston two, Kansas three, Purdue. He dropped UConn to five, Mike. No way. He, Holy uh, I'm trying, I don't. I don't see anything crazy even for Bruce. That's unfortunate. Where does he have Northwestern? He ranked Princeton. Do, where does he have Northwestern? Are they in the top ten? Unranked. I got to do College Poll Tracker because I like to uh, compare it, but it doesn't look like his is really that bad. All right. Well, again, Bruce, tip of the cap, man. Salute emoji to you. Yeah, I, I was very sure that Bruce would have Arizona too. I think um, we deserve credit for this, to be honest. Do you, do you think that we basically harassed him into... You have uh, no idea how much we've harassed Bruce about his top 25. Yeah, I mean, and it's on a daily basis as well. Oh, we got to talk about Damon for a second. Damon Stoudemire is doing great work at uh, uh, Georgia Tech. Um, I'll say this. I never thought Damon would be a head coach, but man, uh, he's got him playing hard and... Um, Pretty impressed by what Damon's been able to do in his coaching career. Did a nice little job at Pacific, associate head coach of the Celtics, now doing a nice job at a crappy place in Georgia Tech. Yeah, I'm curious about Duke, too, like because they lost Tyrese Proctor in the first minute. If he, if his injury is legit, Duke's in deep trouble. Yes, um, they are. But, yeah, I mean, Damon, Damon knows how to coach. Damon's mm -hmm. always I, – I like Damon. I've known Damon for – you know, his biggest thing with Damon is that he – at times early on in his career, I think didn't recognize the effort that it took to be a successful coach. And I think now he, he recognizes that effort overall. Uh, yes. Uh, did Josh help Damon get the job? Well, I don't know that Georgia tech was probably going to take a lot of what Josh had to say, but I don't know. I, I don't think that that probably had anything to do with anything, but could totally be wrong. Um, now Arizona though, looking forward to this schedule, Wisconsin. Yes, you guys are right. Wisconsin is definitely playing better basketball, right? Uh, and honestly, they're a team that Arizona has to take seriously, even though I still think Arizona is going to smoke Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, I, you know, Wisconsin's ranked now number 23. Where so does Bruce have, oh, where does Bruce have Wisconsin? Uh, I think he had him ranked. I don't know. I closed it. Uh, fine. Bruce has no clue how much leverage we get out of his poll. On oh gosh, <laughs> that never oh mind. God. That one was a bit much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, Bruce. Uh, Bruce had. Well, now I don't know. They just reset it. Now. TLN Wisconsin isn't ranked on ESPN. Okay, all right. They just um, reset everything because now they have Bruce's. Bruce has Kansas two and Houston three now. It's all over the place. All right. Okay. Well, uh, but no, he does not have Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin twenty three. Does he have Stanford ranked? Uh, he does not. Yeah, it's a Wisconsin's. Believe it or not, uh, on Ken Palm, and I love Ken Palm. I know. Have you ever been to Ken Palm? Uh, no, I've not. Uh, Wisconsin is Arizona's highest rated opponent this year. Really? It is higher than well at this point. It is higher than Duke. It is fifteenth in Ken Palm. Really. Yeah. Interesting. They're good, man. No, they're, no. They're, when you look at their wins, they only lost to Tennessee. Their loss against Providence was eh, but they beat the crap out of Virginia and they beat the crap out of Marquette. I mean, you got to give uh, you got to give them all right, you got to give them a lot of credit there. By the way, Arizona is going to run rough shot over this last year of the Pac-12. Um yeah. the, J Jacob Franklin was trying to tell me that Arizona should be nervous about ASU. No. Um, I'm not at all concerned about ASU. Um, Arizona. The net ratings came out today, Mike. Oh, nothing but net. What do you got? UCLA, 101. I love it. Now, well, the net got that one right. Uh, where Arizona do they have Arizona? Third. 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 You know who's second? 
BYU, baby. Oh, gosh, BYU. Um, oh, hey, Palmer Hoffman. Darling, BYU. Palmer Hoffman. I actually know a guy named Patrick Hoffman, and he goes by P. Hoff. Palmer Hoffman, can we call you P. Hoff? Um, 2024 Big 12 has three teams in the top three. That's good. That's why we wanted to get there. That's why we've been pushing this movement for the longest time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just Ken Palm Big Twelve is is Houston one, Arizona three, Baylor six, BYU eight, Kansas ten. Yeah, yeah. It's no, that's uh, no. It's a, it's a all right. Let's talk. Let's make fun of the Pac-12 here for a few minutes though, because Arizona is there is not one team in this in that Arizona road or at home will not be favored by at least six over. Um, Cosmic Contrarian. Um, I. I, it's just such a long season and it just takes one game. Yeah, I'd be I shocked. Don't see, I don't, I, I would be really shocked. Um, and that's not a knock on Arizona. It's just, look, we thought that last year they lost to Colorado. There's going to be a game where they're just flat. Did Colorado win yesterday? Yeah. How did Cody Williams do? I don't know. Let me look. All right. Well, Let's you're break. looking, I'm going to read the bet MGM sports book read. All right, fam. Here's the deal with bet MGM. Um, uh, 50, oh, wow. Sign up for BetMGM. Use bonus code PHNX. Place your first BetMGM Sportsbook wager through BetMGM Sportsbook mobile app of at least $10. If that bet loses, your bonus bets will be available once your initial wager is settled. Check out the show notes for details. Again, BetMGM, all kinds of good stuff. This is where you want to get on if you want to bet on Arizona football, and you should because we've been telling you from day one that you should. Um, Check it out, yeah, BetMGM Sportsbook app. Yeah, 21. He's been killing it. All right. Yeah, he's you, absolutely good. Yes, 21 in consecutive games. Are you coming close to saying that uh, you definitely lost that one in a big, bad way? Uh, He's good. He's good. All right. All right. Well, you know, he's going to be he's going to be making so much money and he's going to be living the life of luxury that he's going to be able to hang out at the Gila River Casino at some point. Check out the Gila River Casino Resorts, all kinds of good stuff. Live cool. You do you at Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Visit play at Gila.com for more details. Again, what's cool about it, they offer an, an authentic and immersive experience. Very good stuff. Head to Gila River Resorts and Casinos and let them show you what the next level is all about. Uh, call around. Uh, Five of Kind Media, you're, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, Colorado State Rams would be ranked number two in the Pac-12. They would definitely be the second best team in the Pac-12. Uh, yeah, I buy it. I just don't see second highest rate is a Washington Wazoo at 28. Yeah, again, I think the net is crap, but overall, Arizona, I think, is in a, uh, um, again, I, I think. That's horrible. I just think it's funny to give people crap about it. They don't even use the net anymore. All right. Nobody is a bigger Sean Miller fan than Jason Shear. Nobody on earth, including Sean Miller, respects uh, uh, Sean Miller more than Jason Shear. Shear, the difference with the Tommy gun, though, is that when he's got a roster like this, he is going to impose it. He is going to stretch that defense. He is going to try to make you uncomfortable instead of hoping you miss shots. Uh, Yeah, I agree. Huh. I agree. Okay. But look. And, and we're not talking about this here in December, but this is a big season for Tommy in the postseason. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. By far the biggest if he has to get out of that first weekend and then some. Um, yeah. Or else it's it's, it's going to get a get in. You got to get into the elite. Uh, in my opinion, you got to get into the elite eight. After the elite eight, you take your chances. But with you got a team like this, the way the college basketball is, you've got to get into the elite eight. Where is yeah. USC if, when Bronny plays? Listen. Bronny isn't going to be an NBA player, legitimately an NBA player, but Bronny also is more like nine, three, and two type player at this point. Bronny is a poor man's Pella. And what I mean by that is he's not going to go out and score 15 points. He's right. he's going to get eight points, four rebounds, couple assists, that type of guy. You think that uh you think that Bra or that uh Pella is going to be better long term than Bronny? Is that what you're saying? Oh, absolutely. I'm Pella for life. I don't, I'm not like you. I don't, I don't just throw people to the curb. Um, I don't know if anybody has asked, but is there an update on Henry Vasar? Um, yeah, there, there is. All right, go ahead. Sure. He's uh, it's a while. Let's just say that there's a while. It, it's, he hasn't even been cleared for contact yet. It's weird. I thought you were telling me according to your source after it happened, it was only going to be about three to six weeks. Weird. Yeah. It was like a four to six weeks. It's only been a month, dude. All right. All right. Fair enough. 
Um, I heard that uh, Dylan injured him again, actually. Did who? That that Henry was recovering and then Dylan attacked him again. Well, Dylan wasn't the impetus for the first uh, injury. That you're implying that Dylan was responsible for the first injury. Uh, no, it was uh, it was Philly B. I shouldn't have said that. Ah, you just outed Philly B. Philly B. I did not say that. Hashtag my bad, Philly B. Honestly, it, was, it wasn't Philly B's fault either. It was it was two two three guys goofing off and being stupid. All right, Philly B. I'm seeing some good things out of Philly B. Listen, here's where we're at with our guy Philly B. Philly B doesn't stink. You are um, wrong. <laughs> what's that? Tad is wrong. Am I seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing. Am I wrong? I mean, Philly B yes. doesn't stink. Uh, no, but he's not at the right school. How about that? He's at the right school. He's having the time of his life. He deserves <laughs> to be at this school, Jason Shear. He needs to do the Adama Ball treatment, which is like, look, you're, you're pretty good. We recognize that you're good, but you're just not good enough here. Go to Santa Clara, put up 15 shots a game, and cook a little bit. Is Adama Ball going to play in the NBA? No. He can't do anything inside of this. Like, I watched Santa Clara, and it's like they're running you an offense. You didn't watch Santa Clara. Yeah, they did, because they played. I, I mean, I watched the but against, uh, whatchamacallit. They were on the other night. They got killed. Um, okay. TLN, Philly B would dominate with ball at uh, Santa Clara. Can you imagine that duo Philly B and Adama ball at Santa Clara, Arizona West, my friends. Yeah, it, it, he would do well at Santa Clara. Right. Um, yeah, he, no, he would. All right. But Philly B is improved. I know, but Meisner, you're much smarter than me, but I disagree with you here. I would not give him five minutes per game against good teams. Sure. Do you disagree? Uh, no. What is what? he doing? He doesn't do anything. He shoots. Uh, he, he does well, absolutely really nothing. Yeah. So, anywho. All right. Uh, we did a lot of work here. Alamo Bowl, Arizona breakdown. Arizona's number one, my friends. As we always say, there's no better time to back the A. Jason Shear, I know that you are the leader now of the uh, Dave Hickey fan club hotline. Uh, yeah. Big fan of Dave. Back to Dave, Dave. Dave is killing it. Back to Dave. Where can they find you, Skier? Uh, <laughs> wildcatauthority.com at Jason Shear on Twitter and the Wildcat Scoop podcast with Shelby. Also at my computer, reloading this page to see if I could find Bruce's ballot. Oh, we're, we're, we'll dissect that on Wednesday or uh, Thursday. That's when uh, Shear will be back next, uh, next on Jody Ayler coming on tomorrow. The great Jody Ayler. Um, also become a PHNX diehard. Go to gophnx.com. Get in on the discord, get in on the merchandise, all kinds of good stuff. As always, you will thank me later. Rudy Martinez prediction for the Alamo bowl. I am going Arizona 34, Oklahoma 27. What say you Shear? Uh, ooh, it's going to be high scoring. Let's go. Uh, 38 31. Oh, I like good guys though, right? Yeah. You're back. You still have the back the A emblem though on your Twitter, right? I will keep it for football season. You said you would keep it until they lose. Yeah, but I said I'd keep my beard until they lose too, and I don't think I can do that. Oh, sure. Don't be a liar. Be, don't be a liar. We all, whatever is done in the cover of darkness will be uncovered in light. Wow. I don't know. Deep. I don't know. I'm going, I'm going deep right there. All right. Everybody out there, you guys are fantastic. We'll be back with you tomorrow, noontime tomorrow, though. A special noontime one. I'm going to be up in Phoenix. All right. For Jason Shear, I am merely Mike Luke. And not giving any kudos to Jacob Franklin because he wasn't here today, Jacob Franklin. He was in meetings. But you've been listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. <laughs> We all silly like the mayor. 